Hey everyone, it's Dr. Haley Warren here at Nature Doctors. Today I'm going to go through how to collect the Dutch hormone analysis. So when you leave the clinic, you're going to leave with this package here. That's it. This is the whole test kit. And inside you'll find a few different things. Okay. So the first thing is your requisition form. Your doctor would have filled out the majority of this. The one section that you will be responsible for is on this side here where it says the sample collection date and time. And so depending on when you're taking your urine samples, you fill out the date, the time, and just make sure that you don't forget to add that section in. The other part of this test is uh, the collection instructions. So if you open it up, it has everything that you need to know. And on this side here is a folder with a few different things. So inside you'll find a plastic bag with all of the collection devices. Okay, there should be five. And that's what they look like here, okay. If you open them up, this is where you'll collect the urine, which I'll get to right away. But just make sure there's five of them and make sure there's this plastic bag. Okay. Other things you'll find are everything that you need for shipping. Right? So this little plastic bag here and the shipping invoice. Okay, The shipping is prepaid. So if we take a peek at the instructions here, on this side it says what days um, of the month you collect and this will vary you know depending on a few different things um, your doctor would have told you which days to collect if that was important for you if there's any discrepancies there just give the clinic a call and we'll clarify all of that for you okay especially important if you're on hormone replacement therapy the next middle section here says when to collect okay so when are you going to take your urine samples throughout the day it's important too while you're doing this test that you're limiting caffeine, limiting alcohol, and also not over hydrating, okay? The test results will be more accurate if you're not pounding water all day long, okay? And then in terms of the times that you collect, it makes it pretty clear here when to do that, okay? So the first one will be around dinner time. Make sure you're not having any caffeine after lunch, but after dinner time is when you'll do that. After that will be around bedtime, okay? So this is how we're but we're identifying what your hormones are doing throughout the day and the evening. There is an extra sample that if you do wake up for whatever reason in the middle of the night and have to pee, you can collect a sample then as well. Next sample will be when you wake up in the morning. Okay, don't lie in bed or hang around. Make sure you go to the bathroom if you have to go to the bathroom and collect at that time. After that, it's another two hours later. Okay, what I find is easiest is just to set alarms on your phone and make sure that you're not missing that window. Now, in terms of collection, on these collection devices, the first thing that you need to do is fill out the information. Okay, make sure it's clear and legible so that there's no discrepancies there. When it comes to collection, on this section here, you have two different options. Either you can pee directly on it or pee into a cup and then dunk it in. The most important thing is that you're fully saturating this piece here, okay? After that, you need to find a place in your house to let them dry for 24 hours, okay? Without being disturbed, but each sample needs to dry for 24 hours. Once they're dried, you can put them back into this plastic bag and ship them off. That's that. Usually we get results within four to six weeks, but your doctor should reach out to you or you can give the clinic a call if you're wondering about uh, the timelines of this.